Hi, today we're at Backyard Creations to talk about creating outdoor rooms. We're here with one of the owners of Backyard Creations, Jeff Doherty. How are you today, Jeff? Good, thanks. We're going to talk about some questions that people have about screened enclosures. Will this screened enclosure keep all the bugs here in Florida out? If we were in one of your screen enclosures right now, would it keep the bugs off of this guy? Most definitely. We use two types of screen meshes, an 18, 1814. No, Jeff, like this. Like what this. are you doing? 1814 is, is 18 strands by 14 strands per inch, or a 2020 mesh, which is much finer, that keeps the smaller bugs out as well as pine needles from hanging through the top of the enclosure. Well, that's a good thing because we have a lot of pine trees here in Florida. Another question people always ask is, what happens to a screen enclosure during a hurricane? So let's go check with Yvette out in the field. Yeah, thanks for asking, Tony. I don't know if you can tell, but the conditions are really deteriorating rapidly out here. You know, before 2002, the code was that screen enclosures were built to withstand 102 mile per hour winds, three second gusts, but they've changed the code. And now they're built to withstand 120 mile per hour winds, three second gusts. So the funny thing is, is if your screen enclosure was built more recently than 2002, and you have an older house, then your screen enclosure might be stronger than your house. Another point we want to talk about today is construction techniques that Backyard Creations uses. There's really two types of construction. One is clunky clips, and the other is interior screws. Jeff, can you tell us a little bit of, about the difference between the two construction techniques? Certainly, Tony. This panel here is made with the clips and, and external screws, which we do not prefer to use. You, it's not near as rigid, and it's very, very flimsy. Boy, that really is flimsy, isn't it? Yes, sir. This type of construction over here, we have the screws hidden inside the, the uprights. When you make the beams together, you don't see the screws. Much cleaner look, much more rigid. Boy, it does look a lot better, and look how much sturdier that is, huh? All right, so here we are on a project that we worked with Backyard Creations on. And I wanna go ahead today and give you a few design tips that you can use if you're considering a screen enclosure on your house. The first thing is obvious. You wanna create a patio that brings you from inside the house out into the screen enclosure to enjoy the outdoors. The second thing that we like to do when we're designing screen enclosures is, we like to go ahead and bring the landscape from outside and bring it inside to the screen enclosure. What this does is, it just softens up the lines a little bit, and not only that, but it creates just a great place to spend time. Look how dynamic this space is with the landscape inside here. And lastly, because Backyard Creations is so good at customizing their screen enclosures to fit in with your exact property, you don't always have to have a square or rectangle screen. Notice on this project how they built this wall at a 45 degree angle. The reason we designed it this way and they built it this way is to take advantage of the views. I mean, these clients have a great view over the water and to the preserve. And this 45 degree angle wall just really directs your eye towards this great view that they have. All right, Jeff, well, we saw what a great space you guys can create. Now maybe you can tell us a little bit what kind of value a screen or a sunroom adds to your house. You can use these rooms all year round. You can heat them and cool them, and they virtually become the most use space in the home once we've completed these projects. And also they offer aluminum arbors, which we use all the time to create covered outdoor space. And because they're aluminum, they have a lot longer lifespan than wood arbors. This wraps up another edition of Tony's Tips. Remember, your outdoor space needs a plan, especially if you're considering adding a screen enclosure, a sunroom, or an arbor. Yeah, so if you want more information on backyard creations, go to 5startvshow.com click on the TV.